By 1933, Walt Disney had one goal for his hugely popular Mickey Mouse cartoons, namely, make each one better than the last. He never stopped prodding his staff to think up new ideas and better gags, and the effort showed. Some of these black and white cartoons are surprisingly elaborate, such as The Mad Doctor, an ambitious spoof of the new vogue of horror movies in Hollywood, or Gulliver Mickey, which puts our hero into the world first imagined by Jonathan Swift. My favorite cartoon on this disc is Mickey's Gala Premiere. Although it doesn't take itself seriously for a moment, it does reflect the great success that Mickey was enjoying in 1933, when he was as big a movie star as any of the live actors who were caricatured in the film. If you're a movie buff, you'll have a great time spotting all the familiar faces, some of them instantly recognizable, like Charlie Chaplin or Laurel and Hardy, some requiring a bit more knowledge of the period, like Eddie Cantor or Marie Dressler. And since the premiere takes place at the world-famous Grauman's Chinese Theater, there's even a cameo appearance by its fabled owner, Sid Grauman. It was for this cartoon that Walt hired a talented Los Angeles newspaper caricaturist named Joe Grant, who had an illustrious career at Disney for years to follow, and still contributes to Disney animation today. The last black and white cartoon on this disc gives a hint of what was to come in Mickey's career. Mickey's service station teams the plucky mouse with Donald Duck and Goofy, with wonderful results. But it also underscored the fact that Donald and Goofy were broader, funnier characters than Mickey. After exhausting so many story ideas for their all-American hero, Walt and his team were happy to have other characters who could share the spotlight. But Walt was always loyal to his first star. After all, Walt didn't just provide Mickey's voice. That lovable mouse with the can-do spirit was Walt's alter ego.